Hello everybody, this video is intended for those who would like to attend the Objective-C beginning programming course or uh, you may also be attending the iOS, Introduction to iOS Development uh, workshop or course. And um, what you need to do is install Xcode um, if you want to be able to participate in the programming examples and exercises. And uh, you're going to need a MacBook, first of all, and you're probably going to need Leopard excuse me, not leopard, lion or uh, mountain lion. Uh, what you're looking at is a mountain lion install. And uh, what you're looking at is the current version that uh, is 4.5 that works. In, actually, it's not really. It's 4.51 that I'm updating right now, actually, as I'm making this video. Uh, but a uh, concept being you have to have lion or mountain lion to run 4.5. You may also be successful in the workshop if you have leopard or snow leopard and you're running on a previous version of Xcode. doesn't matter, really matter which Xcode version you're using or which operating system, but certain Xcode versions will only install in certain operating systems. Um, and the lion and the mountain lion are what you're going to get with the 4.5, or what you're going to need in order to install the 4.5. Okay, so how do you get it? Um, you need to get it from the Apple Store. So if you go into the Apple Store, click on the Apple Store, um, I'm covering my mouth over right now. Um, I'm actually in the update sections of the Apple Store, but if I go into features as an example, I believe I can navigate hopefully off of this page. If I do that, I'm going to see a bunch of stuff here. If I type in Xcode um, up here for the search method and press return, I should be able to see Xcode. So what you want is Xcode developer tools. And this one says it's installing, so I'm not going to touch it. But if you click on it, you're going to be uh, looking at something similar to this. And when it's all done downloading, it should hopefully install. And I'm installing the 4.5.1 update, which was just available yesterday, actually. So I'm right on top of that one. Um, if you, um, after you have downloaded it and installed it, just let this do its own thing. It'll go ahead and install it. If you have problems finding it, click on the spotlight and uh, search on Xcode, and you'll find it. And um, when you find it, I would just drag it and put it on your dock. In fact, I would also go into the utilities menu uh, from applications, uh, go into utilities uh, right here, and take the uh, terminal window and also put that on your dock. So uh, you have a terminal prompt here, and uh, you'll also have Xcode here. So it's easier to find it, easier to work with it. Why do you need terminal? Well, I'm going to show you the GCC compiler. So if you open up terminal, you type in GCC, and it's going to say no input files because I didn't give it anything to compile. But if you're an old C programmer, you're familiar with GCC. If not, you'll learn about it in the workshop. Uh, but it's a way of doing it on a, uh, compiling your programs on a command line. You can actually compile iPhone and iPad programs on a command line as well. Uh, but I'm going to show you that interface um, as well as using Xcode. And GCC is part of Xcode, so when you download Xcode, you'll end up, uh, if you click on Xcode to bring it up, in fact here I'll close Xcode and I'll show you what happens. If you click on Xcode to bring it up, it will open up that screen you were just looking at a few minutes ago, and that screen is going to be the interface to create new projects. Um, let me close this one here. There we go, because the screen's behind it. So you could know these are the things I'll be showing you in the workshop. Uh, but before we can get started, uh, you want to make sure this is installed, obviously. You also want to go into Xcode and then click Preferences. And in the Preferences window, you want to click on the Downloads tab, which is the second to the last. And then make sure you've installed the command line tools. So it should say Update here. Oh, Update. OK, well, after I install my 5.1, um, excuse me, 4.5.1, I'll go ahead and update it. But uh, you want to make sure, that because this will say Install on it, Whereas right now it says update because I have previously installed it. Uh, but you're going to want to install the command line tool. So go ahead and click on this. You can also click on the 5.0 and 5.1 simulators. In fact, you can download the 4 point and the 3 point and all the backward compatible iPhones if you'd like as well. Uh, right now, by default, Xcode comes equipped to compile for the 6.0 um, iOS. And there's a simulator. And I will be showing you all of that stuff in the workshops. Um, so in order to be prepared, however, you don't have to, but uh, it's not a bad idea to install the command line tools. Um, that way you'll be able to run 
on the command line, the GCC compiler. So a way of testing to see if you have it installed is just type in GCC, press return. If it says bad command or file name, like if I type it in wrong, it should say command not found. If it says that, it's not installed. So go ahead and install it. And um, if you do that and bring your computer with you, uh, along with your power adapter, uh, you'll be in great shape. And I will see you at the workshop. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, actually, uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. And I'll make another one with the content that's going to be covered in the Objective-C uh, programming